everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Julie and today we have a super exciting Sephora and Ulta haul. So a lot of these items TikTok made me buy or I was just influenced by a lot of people. So without further ado, make sure to subscribe and let's just get into the video. Just a little disclaimer, if you see my mattress, I'm doing laundry so don't mind that i wanted to film this was like the only time that i had to film so let's just ignore that first off from sephora i got this lip liner so this is from the sephora collection and it is in the shade 02 nothing but nude so let me just open this up for you guys so you could see so i purchased this type of lip liner a few weeks ago i believe and i absolutely loved it and I wanted this shade, but they were sold out. So then I went again and they had it. So I decided to pick it up. It is just a beautiful nude shade. I'm having the most horrible time trying to... Oh my lord, I already bought it. Why do we need a freaking sealant? Okay, got it. We're good people. That was a mission and a half. Alrighty, so here is the lip liner. Here is what it looks like. It is a retractable pencil. So nice, super inexpensive. I think it's $13, so love that. So let me swatch it. Look at that gorgeous nude shade. I'm so excited about this. The other one that I have is in the shade 04 Creme de la Creme and super gorgeous, super creamy. A really, really good formula and super underrated. The next lip liner that I actually have on right now is the Makeup Forever lip liner. I have never tried anything from Makeup Forever. And honestly, now I need to try it out because a lot of celebrity makeup artists use this brand. And now I know why. So I got the lip liner in the shade Wherever Walnut. It is such a gorgeous shade. Look at that color. It is such a perfect nude. I feel like it's a Your Lips But Better shade. I feel like it really gives you that pouty look without it looking unnatural. So really enjoy this lip liner. I need more shades now and I really do want to try their face powder. Next up, I know I got sucked in. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. I have it on my face today. It is so beautiful on the skin. I've had the blush and the highlighter for about one or two years now, honestly, way before it went viral, and it is so worth it. So I was not expecting to see this in store, nor was I expecting to pick it up, but it was there and there was only like two shades left. So I was like, you know what? This is probably a sign. So it is gorgeous. It has this little applicator and you just tap it on your skin blend it out and it is so seamless so easy to blend out it's just literally the most perfect formula whether you get the blush the bronzer or the highlighter now we have this blush i have it on my skin today as well this is the Liss beauty blush in the shade self love look at this this is a cream blush and i feel like this is the most perfect blush for the fall and winter time it is so neutral, but it also has like that hint of pink in there. I've never tried anything from this brand, and honestly, now I need to. My Sephora doesn't have much of their products, which I'm really upset about, so I need to find a Sephora in my area that has more of their products so that I could try it out, but so far, so good. I'm super impressed. Next up is this Dior Backstage Face and Body Glow. Michaela made me buy this. It is so gorgeous. So basically, I mix it today with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. She did a video on it and it looked gorgeous. It just has this little squeezy tube and you can do a bunch of things with this. You can put it on your face as a primer. You can mix it with things. You can mix it with foundation where it has highlighter. It is super versatile and super duper gorgeous. I'm obsessed with this. Next up, I purchased this and this really caught my eye. Michaela also made me buy it because I was like, this is too good to be true. So this is the Danessa Myricks Beauty Dewy Wet Balm. The packaging is so gorgeous, number one, but when I showed my sister and my mom this, they were like, Julie, it's literally like Vaseline in there. Like, what are you doing spending that money on this? But honestly, 
it is not like that. Go check out my review on TikTok, but I really, really, really do love this. It is gorgeous. You could just put it on a sponge and then tap it on your cheekbones, and you could use it as a highlighter or as a base for your powder highlighter, but I really do like this on its own because if you want that dewy look without any shimmer, this is perfect. Now onto Ulta. The first product I got is this NYX Serum Concealer. This stuff is so good. It's really good. It is so creamy, so hydrating underneath the eyes, super duper duper lightweight, and it just looks gorgeous underneath the eyes. It has high coverage and it's buildable. It is just such a dreamy formula. It has taken me forever to try this, but now that I have it, I love it. Next up, I purchased this Dermalogica little daily microfoliant. So they have a bigger size of this, but I wanted to try the mini first just in case I didn't like it. And they have a refillable little package, so maybe I'll just keep this little mini one. But basically, all you're supposed to do is put a little bit of powder on your hand and then put a little bit of water, mix it together, and it's supposed to help with your skin and exfoliating it super gently and helping with pigmentation and just getting that dead skin off of your skin and I used this last night and I like it so far so I'll definitely keep you guys updated on this. Keeping with the skincare, I got this CeraVe Skin Renewing Vitamin C Serum. My grandma's friend recommended this to her and I love vitamin C serums and I love this brand. So I decided to pick it up. It comes in this little tube and honestly she has seen beautiful results so i'm excited to try this out as well i used this once as well but obviously i can't let you know how much it's going to do for my skin in one night so i'll let you know in the future this flower beauty blush is gorgeous so it's definitely like a liquid blush this is their blush bomb color drops for cheeks it is super natural, but I could totally tell why people love this. It is super beautiful on the skin. It adds a nice glow without any shimmer. It is just a nice dewy blush. I got it in the shade Pinched. It is so gorgeous. It layers beautifully, or you could wear it on its own for a natural makeup day. But yeah, love this. I decided to pick this up because it was inexpensive, but this is the Lottie London Little Freckle making thing. I'm not really sure. I've never done faux freckles before except for the time that I tried this out. So it just comes in this little tube and then you open this and basically you dot it on your skin and then you just tap it out. It looked so cute and I got it in the shade light so definitely love this but wasn't a necessity. I just thought I would try it out. Now I have this mascara from Milani. This is their anti-gravity mascara. I tried this out and it is so nice, but if you're looking for a volume mascara, then this is not for you. This is definitely a lengthening mascara. It makes your lashes super long and super beautiful, but again, be aware if you need volume in your lashes, this is not going to be for you, but if you like length, then this one is for you. Next up, I haven't tried this yet, but this is the Lottie London Stamp Liner. So. Supposedly it has a little stamp on one end and then a liner on the other to help you do a winged liner. Um, I'm pretty good at a winged liner, but you know, all of us struggle most days and if you can get a little bit of assistance, why not? So let me open this for the first time. Okay, so one side has the eyeliner and then this side has the wing, if you could see. So. Definitely excited to try this out and it was super inexpensive so I'm gonna see how well this works. And last but not least, this is from NYX. It's a little holiday collection. It's their Gimme Superstars little set of lip liners. So you get five lip liners in here for $16. So I feel like that is a great deal. So you get basically a bunch of neutral shades from brown to pinks which I love. You get the shade Nude Pink, Mauve, Nude Beige, Nude Truffle, and Espresso. I think I only have the shade Nude Truffle, which is nice, so I get to try out a bunch of different lip liners from NYX that are in the neutral family, and I thought this was super inexpensive. Alrighty guys, and that is everything for today's video. Please make sure to check out my TikTok. I have so many reviews up there. It's honestly awesome. I love reviewing products individually, so 
definitely stay tuned for that and check out the ones that I have up already. And yeah, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!